From farm to kitchen, we'll take local all-natural ingredients and create delicious dishes here on Edible Journeys. Hi, I'm Erica Petrini, and today on Edible Journeys, we're going to meet a woman who's all about community and cookies. She uses the power of baking to bring her community together and to give back to our troops. Come on, let's go meet Debbie. Hi, Debbie. I'm Erica. Hi, Erica. Nice to meet you. Nice thank to you meet so you. much for coming. Well, thank you for having me. So I hear you are the superstar baker, but you don't just bake cookies for you know holiday bake sales. You have a much bigger mission. Can you tell us about it? Yes, we're Cookie Platoon, and we ship homemade cookies to the troops overseas or in the States or veterans. The Connecticut Cookie Platoon is a team of bakers, packers, and shippers that meet each month at a different firehouse to pitch in and bring this operation to life. I see that you're using your sun crystals, which reminds me, you like to use all natural products in your baking. Absolutely. We like to use the fresh as possible so that when the troops are receiving the packages on the other side of the world, that they are getting a fresh cookie from us. Now, where do you find all your local produce? We have a local farm that is a farm stand, and they grow in all of their uh, products. And what will we be baking today? Applesauce cookies. Which means, what are we looking for? Some We're apples? We're going to be going to the farm to pick up some apples, yep. That sounds like so much fun. So do you mind if we finish the coffee and then head out? Let's go. Let's do it. So we've arrived here at Scott's Farm, and I'm here with the Winston Scott. How are you doing, Winston? Good, thanks. Thank you for having us. We have an absolutely beautiful farm. Can you tell me a little bit about the farm when it all started? Well, we started in 1980. We um, bought an abandoned farm and started planting fruit crops. and branch out into vegetables, greenhouses. So what do you, what exactly do you grow here? It seems like everything. Anything and everything in, in flowers, vegetables, and fruit. You got some Macintosh you apples? Got you do? Mm -hmm. Can you point us in the right direction so we can grab well, some? You, you could go out and pick your own, but we've got some over here too. So. All right, we'll take the ones that were picked, so I'm sure they'll be great. How beautiful these apples are. We found our Macintosh apples. Straight from the orchard, which I love. Absolutely. You couldn't get more all natural than this, huh? No, we can't. So how many do we need? Eight apples should work for us. Eight apples, okay. One, two, three, a few more for me. And I think we're almost set, except we need some flour, some eggs, some chocolate chips, and then of course our sun crystals. So let's go get it. As we head for Debbie's home base, we'll soon see how she converts these all-natural ingredients into some delicious cookies, all for a great cause. That's the next step of this simple and sweet mission on Edible Journeys, presented by Sun Crystal's all-natural, low-calorie sweetener.